My pappy said, son, you're going to drive me to drink if you don't stop driving that hot rod Lincoln. That's what we have here. 2005 variety. Oh, got some burger king. Oh, gosh. Too fat. This lady called. Let me set you down here. Whoa, stay. Gotta switch hands. <laughs> Use the stranger, put the key in it. This lady was driving down the road. She's got the heat cranked up. Ooh, money lights on. And evidently this thing got hot, like smoking hot. So she was driving down the road, going uphill. Uh, this big long hill, local hill. And she said she got to the top and she wasn't really paying attention and she heard bing, bing, bing. And uh, all of a sudden looked down and seen the temperature gauge was pegged out so she immediately pulled over and shut it off. Called for a ride and uh, called me. I told her to sit and wait for a ride. I suspect we have a fan that's not working. I asked her to turn the heat on full blast, see if it had heat. That will indicate whether or not it has coolant in it. I said if it has heat and the temperature gauge came back down, drive it to my shop. She said she drove it all the way here, which essentially was downhill and on the flat. Temperature gauge stayed normal. Heat stayed hot. She got out of her car. She's sweating. So that's a good sign. So I say we diagnose it now. We're at sea. She didn't say anything about the engine light, which this lady's usually pretty, pretty sharp on her stuff. AC is on, so let's go see if the fan, I heard the pump kick on, that will tell us if the fan is working, let's see. All right, oh, here we go, oh, the car ain't gonna roll away. AC compressor's running. Fan is dead still. Do we dare stick our finger in there? We do. We got no fan. The twirls. Okay. Hey, look at that. Just wiggle this jiggly bit. Shut it back off, see if we can duplicate it again. It definitely was not on. Try this again, that to help out a customer there for a minute. Let's fire this back up. Back running, AC's still on. Let's go back out under here. Let's not touch it this time. Compressor's running, fan is off. I just want to make sure it's not coincidence here. We'll leave this running for a little bit. See where our coolant level is. I don't know if it boiled any out. Yeah, coolant's pretty low. Better fill that up while we're waiting. <laughs> okay, the fan should be on at this point. The pressure just kicked off. Let's make sure we're not. Gauge so good. Pressure's back on. All right, let's wiggle the jiggly bits here, just down here. Nothing happening yet. Got that pressure kick back on. Okay, now let's wiggle this connector. Oh, there it goes. Just kicked on. Maybe in this connection we got some issues. Oh yeah, that connector feels like garbage actually. Yeah, there we go. If I hold it over. Yeah, they hardly connect. Oh yeah, let me 
shut it off. I see the problem. I see your problem, lady. Uh, let's see. I can see the burned up terminals. This thing already has grease in it. Yeah, oh yeah. I don't know if you guys can see it. Enhance. Enhance. Those terminals are cruddy. It's got the cruddy cruds. They've obviously been hot. Those are probably our two power ones. Yep, they are. Those are our two big wires. All right, let's fix this thing. So we have a choice to make. Uh, this connector obviously doesn't fit well. I see it as an aftermarket fan. Um, connectors are burned up. You know, it's obviously been arcing in there. We can buy new connectors. Wait for days, get them. Or we can simply bypass it, do it two ways. Uh, we could use, you know, male and female half connectors, which is probably what we'll do in case this fan conks out in the future. Uh, or we could just cut and solder the wires together, which if it ever needs to be replaced again, they would have to be cut naturally. Uh, I think we're going to cut them. We're going to see if we can use male and female spades to make sure they fit well, nice and tight, and uh, go that route. It's an obvious connection problem. Let's do that. Get this lady back on the road. Power ground, green is going to be the control wire, in case you're interested. Let's see, we're going to do these spade connectors. So, can you see? I can't even see you. Male and female half. All right. And then we will alternate them on the power and ground so they don't get mixed up. We don't want that. And then the other one doesn't matter. It'll be blue. So that is the male half, and then on the ground side here, we will stick the female half. Like I said, this way here, they can't get mixed up if it ever gets unplugged. The only negative side to this is if somebody were to, you know, replace the fan, you know, obviously they're going to have to on the vehicle side or on the fan side here is, you know, cut this connector off again. But the car's getting up there in age. What, nine, what is this thing? Oh, it's an 05. I thought it was a 2010. 05? Yeah. So, can't have much life left in it, I wouldn't think. It does spend some time in Florida, though. I do know that. So let's see here, we're gonna chop it off. Hey, what do you want me to do, chop it off? Get in there. Whoa, whoa, fella. Got some sparks, let's get this one. I was gonna do one at a time on this side and tell you be careful because one of those is probably hot, which we just found out. Let's cut the control wire away. Give us some more room. To undo some of the tape. That opened up. Get the control wire back. We'll get this power wire cut first. You can tell the sucker's been getting hot because the insulation's pretty crispy there. on there. That's a word. Come on, you piss 
insulation is a little bit melted right there. There we go. Let's make sure the wire colors are legit. Red to black, no. Red to black, Venom it lacks. Red to four yellow, kill a fellow. Is that apply in this situation, Ray? I think so. I think so. Just because it's a really great thing. It is a great rhyme. Yeah. That's something to do with a snake. So red what? to red. What? Has to do with snakes. You know, was it the king snake? Oh yeah. And it's one that looks like a, you know, it's kind of like the monarch butterfly and it's looking like thing. I don't know. I don't watch enough David Atchin. What's that guy's name that does the documentaries? David, I don't know, but he's got a great voice for it. David Attenborough, I believe it is. Yeah, a great voice for it. And he used to visit all sorts of cool places. Yeah, another reason I watch is when I want to fall asleep at night. Come on! I love documentaries. Oh, me too. Not gonna lie. You can have it playing in the background, but it's over when you want to see a fluffy bunny. <laughs> fluffy bunny, yeah, get ate by a sh tiger shark or oh, something. Oh, I saw this one about a stoat. That they kill the fluffy bunnies by biting the back of their neck. A what? A stove. A stove? Yeah. A stove. A stoat. Stoat? I don't yeah. even know what that is. It is so cool. I watched the entire thing. It's like 45 minutes and I watched all these things because they were just so cool. They're like half the size of the rabbit and they sneak up on them, which is pretty amazing. And they, they just bite them in the back of the neck and they kill them. You're kind of demented, Marie. I'm starting to worry about you a little bit. <laughs> Raccoon killer. Hey, that one deserved to die. <laughs> the people are going to be hating on you. It, it, it literally ran out in front of my car and I tried not to hit it. Not so much for the raccoon's sake, but because I know my car is fragile. Yeah, your car is fragile, all right. Poor little guy. Little, yeah, ra but... little raccoon heaven now. Yep, that's sad. He said right before he died. Committed suicide. Oh. You know what they call raccoons? No. Trash pandas. Trash pandas. Trash pandas. I thought that was fantastic myself. <laughs> Let's see, will the red and the blue mate together? If they did, they'd have a little purple baby. See what I did there, Marie? Oh, yes. Ah, took you a minute. You got it. Uh-huh. They do. Okay, so we're going to have to use the red because this is a smaller gauge wire on the control side on the actual vehicle. So we're going to stick that one in there. We'll crush it down. Good, just so. Squeeze. Make sure they're all taut. Tight. Not taunt. Tight. Not taunt. Taunt. Move that. We're going to use some deoxit mechanical and electrical grease. Make sure our connections are good. Keep them corrosion free. Just about out. There we go. Those are greased, red to red. Can't mix them up. These are tight little connections when they're new. There's that one. Then we'll do the black one. There's that one. Then we'll do the control wire. There, they're all plugged together. And they cannot be mixed up. Make sure they're all the way in. All right, let's fire this pig up. Dude, <whistles> Oh, 
down. Compressor just kicked on. Fan is running. Hooray. That's running as it should. I know it ain't the best, folks. But the ladies from out of town, I'm going to take for the sake of doing something. Uh, we're going to spray a little fluid film in the back side of each one. We will zip tie it back to there. We're going to fill up the coolant. Yeah, she ain't winning no car show with it. Coolant's full. I got have a little gander underneath. AC's nice and chilly in here. Now let's go down on this old girl. Let's see where we probably have cylinder head temp codes or some kind of over temp code of some sort here. Let's just grab our little code reader. Let's see what the survey says. 05 town car 46. See what we have for codes. Oh, wrong button there, fella. Let her do its thing. Four codes in ECM. Oops, wrong well, erase. Want to read them? SAE engine over temp condition. Cooling fan control circuit malfunction. Non mill code. Cylinder head over temp sensed in 1299, so pending. All right, these are all over temp codes, and then of course our control circuit code. So let's back back out. We will erase. That's doing its thing. The money light is out. Bada bing, bada boom. Can't go for a drive. This place is a madhouse. Uh-oh. <laughs> Almost broke rule number two, never roll the window down. Buttons are kind of sunk. Let's turn the AC down there. Let's get some recirc on. Let's go find a hill. We're out on the road. We still yet to have the black top here in the village. So it's kind of rough off-roading there for a little bit. 
of course it's all warmed up we're gonna go find a hill now I did look underneath it for those of you concerned with the amount of coolant that we put in it myself included I did not see anything underneath it I did see where it was leaking out of um, you know the the hoo-hoo the uh, psh, overflow hose gosh lacking in the word department Coming negative. Let's hammer down. <laughs> I love these big old Lincolns. Hey, look, there's that guy's down here doing some fishing. Corn's starting to pop up. That's good because it's been raining for like the past two months. Got busted, no seatbelt. Alright, seatbelt is on. Let's see if this little boat will go up climb this hill. It's good and steep after the 90 degree corner here. Oh, yeah. See, to the wood. That's all we got. She's climbing. Somebody's been doing some sick burnouts. There's a driveway up here that I can't see, obviously. Got her to the rug. Come on, it's a tight corner. Hang on. Bill Sweet Martha are real tight in this baby. Well, there's that guy. Land pro John Deere guy. So I bought some land down here, so. They're growing up here. Starting to. Doing some tillage over there. Alright, we'll turn around to the old oak tree. This old oak tree ain't gonna be here very much longer, I don't think. She's pretty hollow. Let's look, you can get right inside that little sucker, see? Same way to learn if you gotta go up and have family pictures. Look back up there. Beep, 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 beep. Right. Now we have the option to turn the camera off and do a sick burnout. Or just take off and drive normal. Hold the camera on. Cool, stay, temp stayed nice and good. I'm gonna get back to the shop. You guys can enjoy the view here. Put a little into. Right, we made it back. No steam, no smoke. The coolant is just below the cold mark. We'll top that up a little bit. Of course, it's under pressure. I don't smell anything. Water pump looks high and dry. Heater hoses. We have a little gander underneath it here. Ah, she's tinking. I don't see anything dribbling underneath. The only wet spot there is from the uh, AC. Dropped off the bottom of the accumulator there. Oh, guys, oh, it's getting old. Let's see. Yeah, that's the accumulator. That's all sweaty. Yep, that's right below it. Oh, wow. yep, that's got water on it. So, I'm happy. You happy? We all happy? Let's see, he's got a hiss on it. Put a little bit more coolant in it. I'm gonna call it a fix. I think I forgot to do an ending for the uh, Lincoln video here. So we'll wrap that up, even though the car's long gone. Lady's on her way to Boston with a car. I think that's how they say it there. I know that may not have been the fix that you would have done, uh, given the amount of time I had and the fact that she was on her way to Boston. Uh, I think we did a good job. Those connectors we put in there will be fine. They don't look pretty. You ain't winning no reward at the car show, uh, but it will you know, suit her in the time that she owns the car and whatnot. And should work and everything's good. I was a little concerned with the amount of coolant I put in it for not having a leak underneath it. 
So fingers crossed, there was definitely no leaks on it. Brought it back, looked under it, looked under the hood, don't even smell any coolant, so I can only assume it all boiled out on her and she didn't see it and it's you know evaporated since. It's pretty warm out today. I'm gonna keep going. And why don't you go down there in that comment box? Leave your question, comment, criticism, concern, subscribe, ring that bell, as Scotty would say. And just remember, viewers, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.